Some of the main trends that we're seeing in the renewable energy space is, is really surging strong demand for renewable energy. Increasingly, voluntary market participants are, are setting really strong goals. They're committing to commitments like RE100. They're looking not just at their own footprint, but at the footprint of their supply chain. So we're seeing a lot of momentum around the world where people are looking for solutions to become more sustainable and, and how deep that sustainability is across their organization and their value chain. People are looking to have impact and are really trying to see what types of options are available to them, whether that is incorporating power purchase agreements, on-site renewables into their procurement, or whether it's looking at co-benefits or other types of ways that they can have an impact on, on sustainability and on important climate change. Finally, one of the exciting opportunities that we're seeing in the market is that the decreasing cost of renewables is making it a really viable option for emerging markets and developing economies, where there's either traditional fossil fuels and that can be replaced, or where there isn't any energy at all. And this could be a great stepping stone in terms of getting that renewable energy to the places that need it most to improve livelihoods and to help people who are, who are in general in the most impacted uh, areas of the world when it comes to climate change. That's another big area of, of focus and of opportunity when we think about not just net zero from the lens of a single corporation, but we think about net zero from a global perspective.